Hello. Um, <clears throat> it's um, a Saturday night, and so I'm not working today. And um, I'm not feeling too well, and my voice is messed up. I've been coughing, and my stomach hurts really bad, so I think I might be sick. I don't know. Um, but um, since I'm, I'm home today, and I, re I only can record videos when I'm home, obviously, I wanted to record a video um, about my newest um, project. <clears throat> you see... <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, I wish I could be well when I record videos, but hey, I don't. I don't get to control life. Anyway, um, so when I'm not working, I'm usually working on something at home, and my most recent project has been the newest book that I I published. And so I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the book that I just pump published as a Kindle book on Amazon. So I'm going to show you this here. Um, so um, if you go to Amazon and search for <laughs> the vow of chastity, no, don't, don't search for a burp. That's just a little side effect of, of the things I eat and drink. Anyway. If you go and search for The Vow of Chastity, um, well, that's the title of my book that I just published. Um, and I published it under my new name, Chastity Rose, which is really Chastity White Rose, but you know how the middle name is not really used very much on most websites and in general. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to go to the page of, of this book, and I'm going to explain a few things about this book and why I wrote it. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> you see um, the, the cover has white roses. Now, the white rose represents virginity and celibacy, um, you know, basically. So that's why it's become my symbol and why I name myself Chastity White Rose. So that's the cover, and this is the preview available to um, anybody. Um, because uh, white roses are pretty, and so there, there's the cover, and then there's just a little bit there, and you can go to Amazon and read this, uh, this text here yourself. Um, so anyway, um, it, it's it's for it's for two ninety nine the Kindle edition. Now I may need to update this <clears throat> book um, as I add more content and fix errors, and the thing is. I did not quite have enough um, uh, enough uh, pages to publish it as a paperback yet. I have to have a minimum of 24 pages for a paperback. So I'm still in the process of considering what content to add to that. However, um, I w yeah, there's a lot of interesting things on Amazon, but I'll get distracted if I look too much at that. But anyway, this is the latest book I've published, and so I'm going to share a few words about why I I wrote this book. And basically, um, actually, you can you can see my art this way. Yeah, I, I'm wearing my art shirt. So anyway. Oh, I wrote this book. I started writing it um, probably in the fall of 2019 because I was getting increasingly frustrated at certain things in, in general. Um, the things people say to asexual people or, or people who have chosen celibacy are just completely ridiculous. In fact, you should check out the video Asexual Bingo by Swank Ivy to get an idea of what I'm talking about. People say some crazy stuff. Um, however, what really inspired me to go ahead and continue working on this book um, was a very annoying co-worker who I won't mention her, her name, but who was constantly always getting nosy and asking other people about the relationships and if they're going to get married or, or if they had 
had ki had kids or if they bought bought uh, their girlfriend something for Christmas or whatever you know so I mean she said weird things to me she she says all kinds of rude things to this this other guy constantly um, it's it's very bizarre uh, but anyway because of the rudeness of people and the fact that they continually make it their business to get involved in people's sexual relationships or lack thereof you know I decided you know what I really need to have a book I need to have a book that I can give to people um, and just explain when they start asking me questions about why I don't date why I don't have sex why I named myself chastity you know all these different things that people ask me um, usually at work because it's the only human interaction I have besides visiting my mom. Um, and I decided that I need to have a book. So the goal is, of course, to eventually have a paperback version of this book. But for now, I've published the Kindle edition of what I had at the current time so that people who are interested can buy it, write reviews, give me some feedback, let me know is there something that I should mention in this book that I forgot to mention or are there questions that you can think that either you have for me or that some rude nosy person might ask me in the future that I could answer my book because basically the, per the main purpose of this book is going to be to have a, a, a small book that I can afford to order many copies of my own book so that I can give it to rude people who pester me about my asexuality or my vow of celibacy or chastity and all that. So that's the main purpose is just to have a book to throw at people to get rid of them. <clears throat> and that's what I was telling Monique in my recent recording with her. Um, so um, I'm going to continue working on that um, and until I can get a, a good paperback. Um, I think it'll be an interesting book because it's not, there's no other book quite like it because um, this book is basically, it's, it's, it's in a similar form to, um, it's you know it's in a similar form to some YouTube videos I've done and to the other asexual people have done responding to ridiculous things people say but the basic summary of this book is that I'm gonna be mentioning several reasons why I don't want to have sex and it's weird but apparently you know so many people are so weird about it and I I am well known on my YouTube channel and by my closest friends as being anti-sexual. And um, I have been reading this book also. Um, I bought this book well over 10 years ago, I'm pretty sure by now, by Julie Sandra Decker called The Invisible Orientation, An Introduction to Asexuality. And one thing that I, I noticed while reading this book um, because I'm looking for some inspiration, is that she continually um, explains that asexuality is not a chastity vow. Which is true because, you know, a lot of people are asexual and that they lack sexual attraction, but they're not necessarily vowing to be a virgin for life or vowing to never have sex for their life. I'm the one who does that, and so I just want to make clear that what I say um, does not represent the, the asexual community and if anything it represents my own anti-sexual views that I actually think sex is immoral. So I've made that point abundantly clear on my on my YouTube videos which nobody cares to watch because they're too busy having sex. You know? Um, but anyway, um, I would like your comments and suggestions of what I can include in my book because I need to add a few pages if I'm gonna make a paperback of it. And I highly doubt that it will, will sell very well or make much money because generally people are buying books up about how to have sex. They're not going to buy a book uh, by somebody who, um, you know, is, is basically saying why sex is evil and why they don't ever want to do it. 
I, yeah, I know that I'm not going to get many sales of this book. I, I'm pretty aware of that. But there are going to be some people who do buy it. Some of my friends who may actually care enough to know more about me and why I feel the way I do. Besides, um, I need to have copies of it, like I said. So that's the goal, is to finish this book. I don't know when I'll finish it, but I'm kind of hoping to have it finished by my by my my 33rd birthday because I because you know May 15th is my birthday and I'm thinking hmm maybe I should publish it on my birthday or something like that. that that's what I'm thinking but I published the Kindle book on Christmas actually so that gives people an idea and a chance to give me some feedback on it so that's some news I wanted to uh, share uh, since I could record a video and I'm home right now I'm not feeling very well, but I'm trying to stay home and get some stuff done, like work on my book. Um, so, I hope you enjoy that, and let me know what you think. Also, um, I had to re-upload um, the recording that I did with uh, Monique uh, after editing out a few personal details that she wanted me to remove. Um, so. Yeah, so now there's the newer, slight, shorter by a few seconds version of the talk that we recorded on Christmas. So I hope if you're watching my YouTube channel, you also see that as well. So that's all I have to say. Now it's time to get back to eating supper, playing video games, reading books, working on programming, working on my book. There's so many things to do at home. I just can't find the time for everything. <laughs>